Hello and welcome back to Casey's Garage. We're going to start today's video out by heading out to pick a pole to see if we can grab some parts for this 2014 Ford Fusion. What we're going to be looking for is some interior pieces. This is the overhead console that goes up there. We're going to see if we can find new one of these because it is actually broken where it holds a little thing that flaps down. I have to store your sunglasses or whatnot. Uh, we're also going to be looking for the little module or uh, little box that sits here where my fingers are. That's where all these plug into. That's for like a USB, uh, audio jack, all that kind of stuff. And we'll just kind of see what we can find. Um, and then when we get back, maybe our brake pads and rotors that I ordered on Amazon will be here and we can finish the brake job and then see if we uh, fix the power steering or not the other day. So uh, let me grab some tools, jump in the Jeep and we'll see you at the yard. All right guys, so here's our first car that we're gonna look in and don't see there's much left of this one, so I doubt we find anything. This is a 2015 Fusion. Yeah, guys, I don't see anything in here that we can use. So I think let's go ahead and move on to the next car. Okay, guys, so here's the next one. This is a 2014, same year as the one we have. Uh, as, as you can see, it's pretty picked over already, too. But I did peek in here, and I do see a couple things that we need. I may go ahead and grab this because ours is pretty scratched up. I don't know if I really need it or not, but I might grab that. Uh, came for this little module here is where you hook up your phone, um, PowerPoint, all that good stuff. Actually, one of the main things we came for is this. I'm not sure if it's the same color as the Fusion we have. I can't tell. I don't know. That's all I see so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two things out of the car. I believe there's one more Fusion to look at. All right guys, so I just stumbled across a, was this 2015 Fusion? This one doesn't even come up on their inventory. But, I believe it has the actual color of the overhead console that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one. I'm pretty sure that's the color we have. Okay guys, so we are back from the uh, pick and pull and let's, uh, let's take a look at our loot here. So I did grab two of these overhead console uh, storage things or dome lights because one of them is kind of a beige color or tan. The other one's kind of a gray and I could not remember what the interior color was. So I'm pretty sure it's the beige one, but I uh, haven't looked yet. And then we grabbed a screw, which I went ahead and just grabbed the little, uh, anyway, little clip there for the uh, passenger sun visor. We have one of these covers for the keyhole here, which of course is the wrong color, but that's okay because we're going to paint it anyway. I'll go ahead and just pop it on there for now. There we go. And then, what else do we get here? Oh, I'm not, I don't know if this is the right thing or not, but this is the media or entertainment um, box module thingamajig. So we'll put that in the car here in just a bit. And let's see, what else did we get? Oh yeah, we got our spare tire um nut and screw to hold the spare tire down the trunk so nothing too exciting but we did need these things for the car so let's go ahead and get in and see if um this stuff fits all right guys so the first thing is i'm going to go ahead and put this little thing here in 
and I'll just uh, set the camera down and then I'll be right back. So unfortunately, this thing here is not the right one for this car. Uh, the car I took this out of did not have a touch screen. So I think that has something to do with it because these connectors here are all different than what came out of the car we took this out of. So, uh, darn, I guess we'll have to get on eBay and uh, go ahead and find the right part because I'm thinking it must be another one that's kind of like this, but it has the RCA jacks on there, the red, white, and uh, uh, yellow um, input connectors on there. So we'll uh, get online and see if we can find that. Oh well, let's move to the next thing. Next thing is, let's see if our overhead console fits. Okay, and on this guys, I'm glad I grabbed both colors because this gray colored one is the one I almost put back thinking it was the wrong one, but this is actually the one we need. So I guess we'll just sell the other one online. But let me go ahead and hopefully the camera is on that. Let's snap this in place. Just go right up there. All right. Now, I think we must have a fuse blown to this because even the other one, I couldn't get the dome lights to work. So we'll have to check fuses. And guys, check out uh, what we got today. We did get our brakes in, so we'll get those done here in just a little bit. Here is the brakes that I bought for the Fusion. These are the Evolution Series brakes by PowerStop. Those are pads there and then our rotor, so let's go ahead and get these on the car. All right, guys, check out the difference. So here's our brand new rotor. There's our thickness there, and this one is wore down so badly that half of it's all over the car. <laughs> but look at the difference, how much wore down. So we'll go ahead and throw that out. All right, let me go ahead and get the pads out of the box. Nicely packaged. Go ahead and get it set out here. Now, those are meaty. All right, so here is the back pad that came off the car. As you can see, there is just nothing left of it. And here is our replacement pad. So a little bit of a difference, wouldn't you say? And of course, here's the pad that was on the front that was just kind of hanging on. Uh, there's just nothing there. Now when I did go ahead and get the uh, caliper rebuilt, uh, we put some new seals in there the other night, so it's ready to go. All right guys, so now we got the rotor in place, go ahead and put this back part on. Let's go ahead and put the pads on. And I went ahead and put some caliper grease over the pad, the one with the spring goes in the back. So that's gonna sit right there. And then one without the spring goes in the front. And that goes right there. There we go. All right, guys, so the brake job is done. So let's go ahead and go for a test drive and see if we have brakes plus power steering after we uh, reset all the uh, codes and everything on the car.
All right, guys, I think the car's driving great. Uh, it's running nice and smooth, no shakes, no vibrations. Um, power steering works, well, that's good. Um, and it stops on a dime, so I think this car is just about ready to hit the road and become a driver. But before we do, we'll get home, and once this rainstorm passes, uh, we'll uh, go ahead and start working on that window that was busted out and get it replaced and start cleaning up the car. So we'll see you at the garage. Okay, so we're going to start by getting this blue tape off here. My temporary window. Okay, so first we need to remove this uh, door panel here. some of that glass out of the way and I think we just got to take these out I'm going to go ahead and open up our replacement one so I can take a look at the uh, bracket on it and see how it fits in the door. I have to say, I'm very impressed with uh, people I bought this from. I forgot who it was. It was off eBay. Very impressed with how they wrapped it. All right, and there's our new one. So, let's go back over and look at the door. Okay, guys, I went ahead and pulled the tent off this one. So, let's go ahead and get it in the car. Windows installed. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh, the camera out. There you are. All right. Uh, I want to go ahead and make sure the window goes up and down without any problems before we put the panel back on. Good 
good news, guys. They did something right again. All right, let's go ahead and get this on. And this goes on the same way it came off, so here we go. So this window's done. Let me go ahead and get the front windshield cleaned off, and then we'll go ahead and take this down to the car wash and give this uh, probably the first wash it's had in several months. All right guys, we'll have to walk around real quick here after we got the car washed and take a look at the paint. I don't know what's gonna show up on camera, but as you can see, the paint is in pretty uh, bad shape. We've got scratches all over and the storm is rolling in real quick here, so it's already starting to rain. But we got more damage down here in the bottom, the mirrors. Are all scratched up. They're just the weirdest places. You can see where there's scratches pretty much just all around. Of course, I could go in and try to touch this up, but and this mirror's scratched as well. Not as bad. Overall, it's in decent shape. Of course, this side over here is definitely where it rubbed up against something. So we're gonna end up painting the whole car, which we're gonna have some fun with. But uh, since it is raining, I guess we'll call it quits for now. All right, so I guess this can be a wrap for this video. Uh, it rained pretty much the whole day, the rest of the evening. Um, I did go out and look at the car and uh, we might have a little bit of a problem yet, so back in the garage is gonna go, and uh, I'll show you what's wrong in the next video. So I uh, will catch you guys in the next one, and if you're new to the channel, you know what to do, and we'll catch you next time.